<laughs> Nico Nito. It's going to get really annoying. But, uh, this is going to be interesting. Nico. Nito yeah. Nico. Yeah, yeah. N Nito, Nito's been doing say it really. a few times. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. I'm already sick of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Nino's been uh, doing really well lately. Like past few tournaments, he's been going going in with the kin. And uh, I'm curious how this matchup goes. I, I feel like Nico is a little bit familiar, just because I know uh, how he he and Nico play uh, sometimes. And, uh, well, Nito's been grinding some locals pretty recently. He's been having some great results and taking down a lot of big players. So yeah, yeah. we'll see if Nico's ready for this because yeah. he's been sneaking I, I, up and choke slamming in the competition. Yeah, yeah. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if uh, Nito added Nico to his list of upsets because this guy's when he hits you, he makes it he makes it count. <laughs> he almost killed him there. Yeah. Yeah, already putting on 97%. I mean, I know I know Ken can struggle against character like Shulk. He has like the range to keep him out really well, but Nico is not really abusing that right now. He's look like he's just struggling to establish his space to keep uh, Nito out. Yeah, I mean, Nito uh, or Ryu, sorry, Ken in particular gets so much off of just getting up in your face, and uh, he wins those short battles, and you can't cross him up. You just need to be really careful around him because you can eat punishes so easily that it just take, it takes so much damage, especially from a player like Nito, who seems to have almost mastered the punish game for this character. Yeah, it's really scary. Look, he tried to roll behind him to cross him up, and then he just automatically turned around with down. So I don't even thought he was going to die from that. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, whenever you get knocked down from top, so you got to be careful because, oh, dang, nice. That feels so strong. But uh, you got to be careful from that because he can immediately just chase you down and tech chase to kill you. But uh, Nico didn't fall for it, and now he's got the stock lead. Yeah, I'm surprised we're not seeing some more speed uh, Monado coming out from Nico. It seems like being able to evade and set the pace of the game better is what he needs right now. But he did oh, manage to take that stock. And Nito landing that F smash, or was that a heavy forward? Uh, no, it wasn't his F smash. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, F tilt. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with Kin's animations, honestly, in comparison to Ryu. Yeah, I mean, whenever I see this character get a hit, it just seems like he waves his hands around and then you take, like, 80 <laughs> damage. <laughs> okay, nice use of air slash there, just to edit a get off me and a, a punish. Nito landed a little too close. And oh, dang, see, that's the struggle with... F tilts are... Struggle with Ken against stocks. disjoints. Yeah, that, uh, his F tilt usage is really good because... He puts you in a range where you have to respect all these aerials, and then once you think he does an opening, you try to dash in, and then he's already ready with the up tilt. Oh, now he's swinging, swinging the short use, trying to get that kill, but uh, Nico's not really giving it to him right now. Oh, focus is almost really scary. Nico's Hulk has, uh, he has some multi hits he can do to hit him out of focus, but not many that are really reliable. Well, yeah, but, uh, but uh, Shulk's range is so good that it doesn't really seem to matter. He can just kind of poke away at him and not risk getting counterattacked by that focus. Yeah, he's like, I don't care about your Tatsus. Oh, nice hit. Wow. That was really good. Drop some fair. Was that? No, it's Nair? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> no, I think that's Nair. That, that move. Is it the, the, the long sweeping one or the just the shorter one that comes yeah, out? Yeah, the shorter, like, I kick. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, this is scary. I, I, I like. Oh, jeez. Dude, yeah, my, he's my guys is like, I don't care about shield art. I'm gonna keep. Poking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I so he did so much damage, and that's not supposed to happen in shield art. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's, he's rushing him down. He goes got. He got close out now, or really soon. And I feel the momentum slowly. Yeah, getting in uh, Nito's favor. Yeah, uh, it seemed like Nico had control of this game, but now uh, Nito just landed a few punishes. And he was, ooh. ooh. That was oh almost man. the game right there, but he just needs a little more percentage in one of these combos. Easily oh, take it. nice focus. All right, he still got the air slash out, but dang, that was so good. Oh, okay, he, ha he had planked. to switch. He had to switch to shield right there. He was dead otherwise. Oh no. Okay, yeah, betting it all right there and not quite 
Good old shield the buddy. Result. And you know, <laughs> just laughing it off. I think, yeah. I think we're going to see a long set here. It seems. Uh, I feel like Nito's getting the hang of the shield matchup as the tour's in there. So I don't know. I, I think Nico's going to have to really turn it up this game to take it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean. I feel like Nico won that, but he was slipping a lot towards the end. So he's got to turn it up. He has to play even better than he did at the end there, okay. in my opinion. I love that duck under that <laughs> Shoryuken. <laughs> or the uh, Shoryuken is the, the projectile, right? He no. yells it, I should know. No, no. It's Hadouken, it's the Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> no. God, we're falling in, I'm falling into that the stereotype of the fighting the only fighting game I play is, is <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Nico facing around uh, Nito really well now. Like, he's not really letting him swing moves uh, willy nilly, really. And, like, he almost still ate that forward smash thing. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was rough. But, like, I feel like even uh, Reed this controls this too, but, like, you're kind of forced to hold forward at your opponent, you know? And that gets really predictable. It's, it's kind of difficult to bait out a character like Cho with Ken. Yeah, and that recovery uh, we saw there is pretty susceptible to Nico's uh, edge guarding. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll probably see a lot more of that as the game progresses. We didn't see too much of it at the beginning of the game, but I think Nico was just kind of getting a feel for how Nito wants to recover. Yeah, for sure. Especially since, uh, like outside of focus, once he hits him out of that top two, it's really easy for Nico to edge guard him. Yeah, and Nico getting Nito in the corner there, getting some damage, and he's still racking it up right now. He's yeah. running away with this oh. one right now. Oh, and I nice. say that, but uh, Nito just landing one of those. It's I'd like been really uh, odd killing with that move. Like sometimes it looks like it's just gonna kill really early, but they live, and then other times, like you think this is, it didn't kill early last time at that same percent, but it, it kills. Like so, I don't know if like a lot of people are just weird on DIing it or what. Uh, it's kind of a wonky move. I don't think the kill power is as strong as people might think it would be. If it was, I think this character would be a lot stronger. Uh, but we see that combo anyway, to come out and send him up into the Blackstone. Oh, what a whiff punish. Yeah, I... Um, I think they would just want the, da the most, uh, Kens just want the damage though, so they go for it all. Because they know the next can combo they land will end the stock. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely what you want to see from a uh, Shulk in this matchup. Like, Nico is just... He's harassing him. Like, it's like the same thing you see when he fights Mario, honestly. Like, you just don't have the best range in comparison. See? Like, that didn't kill there. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah. You can see the sparks. <laughs> don't have the, you don't have the best range. So, like, when you're forced to approach and try to deal with these sword hitboxes, uh, yeah. it's really rough. I think also that, uh, um, Ken has oh a lot of. Oh, my God. That was. Damn. Crazy, he was crazy so Nico. dead. He even got the added knockback from being in Smash Hard 2. Yeah. How did he know he was going to be behind like that? Like, how did he know he would be behind them? That was really good. So, yeah, I feel like Ken has a lot of similar combos. You know, he, what he, whatever he lands, he's going to land one move and the other and put about a, a lot of the same damage in. And a lot of his stuff just combos into Shoryu. That, so... You know he's gonna go for it every time, and it's not necessarily gonna kill, but it's gonna that, get that damage and and go for it. So, which is why we see that so often. Yeah. Uh, but the Ryu switch coming out. Uh, yeah, he did this uh, last week against Master Mario. He was down 2-0, I think, or down a game, and he just didn't do well with him. I think he might have gotten three stock or two stock. But uh. Yeah, I haven't seen many people who play both Ryu and Ken like yeah, these days. Yeah, it's like, crazy ever. because you need so much knowledge. I mean, their combos work completely differently. Yeah, they may look the same, but uh, the buttons you press and all of that is completely different. Yeah, especially since Ken got buffed in one of the not the latest patch, the one before the latest patch. Uh, I just see so many people playing Ken over Ryu these days. But uh, I know Ryu's fireball is like a lot more utility. 
Yeah, we're seeing Nito use it a lot. He's just kind of stepping back and throwing these Hadoukens out. And he's put up a lot of damage. Yeah, I guess Ryu just doesn't really play the same as he did in uh, Smash 4, so that's kind of why we don't see as many people, like, dedicating to Ryu over King. On the poke, yeah. Uh, Ryu's up B working slightly different than Ken's there. And, uh, oh, maybe. that was such a good focus dash. Wow. He focus dashed and kind of baited a roll and then punished accordingly. That was really good. Let's see if he can work with the stock beat, though, because I still feel like Ryu... Uh, he's gonna have some of the same struggles that Ken uh, is dealing with the sword. I yeah. think what he's using Ryu here though is for having that fireball. Because now he doesn't have to just run forward and just blindly approach Shulk. He yeah, can kinda zone a little bit. We've seen him use it a lot here. That seems to be the game plan. I think also, I believe uh, Ryu's up air is a lot uh, stronger too and it has a bigger hitbox as well. So I wonder if we're gonna see some juggles in from uh, Nito. I like the way that uh, Nito will go up and pressure Nico's shield and then just kind of back off trying to pressure something yeah, out of him. Yeah, this is really good uh, fundamentals, honestly. It's still really difficult to bait a character like Shulk, especially when you just don't have the range. But uh, he's still going for it, he's trying to force some options at Nico, and I think it's working better for him this game at least. Still find himself in uh, some bad spots up the ledge though. He's gotta be careful here. Nice focus. Oh, I thought he was gonna get that tech chase. But he's applying a lot of pressure. Doesn't get the shield break he's looking for though. Yeah, that's good. So that's gonna be viable if pretty soon though, because Nico keeps shielding these things. Nito is just utilizing these focuses and these parries so well just to kind of make Nico uncomfortable and oh, get break his tempo a little bit. Oh man, another whip punish forward smash. Doesn't have to jump anymore. I don't know about using the full focus, but oh, nice. Nico thought he had a ledge trap there with the smash art, but he got punished. Oh, oh. yeah. Unfortunate for uh, Nito there. Swinging the, yeah, swinging the focus a little bit unsafely. Now it's back to last stock here. Oh, and Nito making a miss input there. Nico not taking up too much stage control, though, but everything could cost him, though. He's on his last stock right now for this. His, his winner's life. All right, yeah, Nico playing around the Hadoukens. Yeah, he's not getting hit by it as much as he was before. And the shooter is also helping him escape these over sync strings really well, too. And I, just, I feel like Nito hasn't really found an answer for that yet. He's been throwing them off a lot, it seems. Oh. Right. I'm sure there's a way to extend these combos, but uh, maybe that's something you can hit the lab for next time. Okay, yeah, that's good damage. But it's not next time right now, and uh, Nito needs oh, to find something right fireball. now. Oh, whoa, 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 that fireball. But he's gonna make it back Sorry, that back is crazy for Nico. Nope, no tech chase. Okay, interesting hitbox on the down there. That's such a strange move. Oh, he covered the roll. Out. How's he gonna get past this though? Oh, oh nice, nice, nice wait. focus cancel into the upbeat. That yeah, was like the last second upbeat too. Nito can s stall for so long using that focus on the sorry, you, uh, sorry the uh, Hadouken that he's just able to wait out Nico here. And he's off stage again though. Can he put work oh, the same nice. kind of magic? It looks like it. He's, he's still at the ledge though, so he has to find a way to approach. And it's really hard against this sword. <laughs> Nice up B. Uh, oh, B. doesn't oh, get the air slash. Quite. Okay. Are we gonna see some shield? Not out, not out. No. Nico is gonna. Oh, unsafe. Oh. Yeah, unsafe. Tatsu on shield. Yeah, that's gonna get punished every time. I wonder time. if that was intentional. Do you think maybe he misinput a doke in there? I don't know. I'll I just seem so. like a hail, hail mary Tatsu if that was. Uh, uh, I do 